hold up. I'm about to show you a vehicle I bet you have never seen before. So let me know in the comment section if you've ever seen this vehicle before, but this is pretty impressive. You're gonna wanna see this. I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews, and I've come quite a ways to a very small town for a really huge vehicle surprise. So let me show this to you. Stick with us. Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews here. Just before we switch over, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and share this because I bet you've never seen this vehicle before. This is impressive, let's check it out. All right, so I bet you've never seen a vehicle quite like this before. This is really rather quite interesting. So please, in the comments section, let us know what you think this vehicle has as an engine. Looks like a, almost looks like a Cadillac. I guess that's a Chrysler. It's written Chrysler on it. But look at this vehicle. They used to make them with a lot of chrome and a lot of hard bits, which sucked if you're a passenger. Uh, if you're, you know, a passerby walking, you got hit by these older vehicles back in the 50s and 60s. They definitely had very strong front ends. Don't want to get hit by one of these, but even being in an accident with one of these, if you're in an accident, these the steering wheels were even hard. They've decapitated people before with the steering wheels they used to put on in these. The dashes could be rock hard in some of these models. So let us know what you think these three vehicles have as engines. Let's go check out the back side of this. Look at that. Okay, clearly it's had a bit of body work done to the side here that didn't quite get bondoed and sanded properly. And it's been probably hit in the back at some point, but look at those lines. So comment, what engine do you think pulls around all this weight? This is a ton of weight to be pulling around. These vehicles, even when they weren't extended, were very, very heavy. So let us know what you think. What kind of engine? How much power? How much torque? I can't imagine that this thing accelerated at any decent speed. Now, I really do like the style right over here. Really cool garage, by the way. Look at the style of these vehicles. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful vehicles. Let us know in the comments section as well. What do you think? The, the, what kind of engines these had? How much power? But the real mystery is this. You know, do you think that they modified the engine? Do you think that they swapped the engine to be able to pull around all this weight? Plus, the God knows how many people were traveling in this. Families used to be huge, and I guess this definitely could have handled a huge family in the past. You know, my brother would need this with his 10 kids. This would be perfect for him. He could definitely get around with his 10 kids in this vehicle. But look at that, and a Chrysler. It really looks with the fins. I thought I was thinking Cadillac. In the comment section, guess what the other two in the back are? Really, really cool vehicles. I love the surprises you get from small towns giving huge surprises. Always worth taking a drive and exploring. Look at the one back there. Look at that gorgeous vehicle. Can you guess? Please guess the make and model of this vehicle. What is that right there? Really cool. This one has a barbecue as an engine. You don't see that every day. Barbecue powered. Now bar barbecue food definitely powers me, but that's barbecue powering a vehicle. Never seen that one before. Very cool. Let, let, let us know what you think. Now, if you've been following the channel for quite some time, you know we have that 1991 Toyota MR2 and the 99 and 2000 Porsche 911. So clearly we like the decade from the 90s, but please comment your favorite decade. We wanna know what's your favorite decade. Remember the 80s, some gorgeous vehicles, but they were slow because of government restrictions. And thank you for watching. We wish you all more cars and more power. And until next time, we do hope you get to put the pedal to the metal. Take care, everybody.